What's up guys, Cody Woods here, and I have my 2019 DRZ 400 Supermoto. Um, I've hit a mile marker on this guy. I have 588.8 miles on the odometer, and the first maintenance interval is supposed to happen at 600, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that I am close enough, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that service. Now, what is that service? Um, I got my DRZ 400 factory owner's manual. This is the only factory owner's manual I've ever owned for any bike. It's crazy. I had to buy a brand new one to get it, <laughs> but kind of cool. So section seven discusses uh, what happens in this maintenance interval. And I'm going to try to make this video as short as I can because there's a, I don't know, I have a bad habit of making... My video is far too long. Okay, so, gosh, I'm doing this one-handed. We're gonna get through it though. All right, here we go, in section seven, 7-4 seven contains the, um, the chart that has all of the information that we're looking for on it. And as part of the 600, this first column is the 600 mile marker in, uh, maintenance um, items. So what we have to do as part of the 600 mile marker maintenance Schedule is tighten the exhaust pipe bolts and muffler bolts. We have to replace the engine oil and engine oil filter. We have to inspect engine oil hoses. We have to inspect the idle speed. We have to inspect throttle cable play. We have to inspect the drive chain. We have to inspect the brakes. And we, we must inspect spoke nipples, inspect steering, tighten chassis nuts and bolts. And that is it. So... I have actually already, I've already looked at um, the spoke nipples and everything. I've, I've actually got a spoke torque wrench, a torque, uh, uh, tusk spoke torque wrench. And I don't know the exact torque values, but it seemed like, it seemed like the backs were around the 45 inch pound and the fronts were around the 25, 28 inch pound mark. So I've already been around the spokes and I might, I might put together a video about that. I, I really want uh, the Suzuki repair manual. So I got the exact values for you guys before I end up doing anything like that. And I have already tightened the drive chain and I do have, I do, I do have some, some content that I could put together about the drive chain. Um, you don't need to know necessarily how to tighten the drive chain. I'd say there's tons of videos about that, but I do have the torque values for all of the fasteners. So I might put together a video about that. Just hit the old subscribe button if you're interested. Um, so that, I'll, that that video will come up. But um, what I want to talk about today is the actual engine oil and engine oil filter replacement. I'm going to blast through this really quick because if, if you've been on the internet at all, you know that Gladius John has a video about this. Who else? Probably Jake, the, the Garden Snake. If you want a really good video about this, check out Stuff and Things. He has a 2018 DRZ 400 Supermoto and he's done a very good job. A very, very good job actually putting together a video about the oil change. Um, but he doesn't give, nobody gives the torque values for the drain plugs. And that's what I'm going to do for you today. Um, so to drain the oil, you, you, uh, unscrew this guy. Let's check out the bottom here. Um, sometimes you have to remove the bash plate, but not, not every time. Um, the first oil change, I believe is one of those times where you don't actually have to, but I'm going to, um, it's 10 millimeter bolts here. I think there's four of them. One, two, three, four. And then that gives you access, easier access to your plugs up here. Now you have access to your drain plug without taking the bash plate off, but I want to actually clean the mesh screen filter that's in this uh, in this tank here. Um, though you don't have to during the first time, then you have this drain plug here. So I think these are 14 millimeter. Either, yeah, I think it's a 12 or 14. Um, that's not important. What's important is the torque value per the owner's manual is 13 foot-pounds. This guy torques to 15 foot-pounds per the owner's manual. And there are crush washers under both of those. Here we go. They look like this. Um, make sure you get at least two of them. You can also remove this bolt as part of the engine oil replacement process, though it's not specifically called out in the instructions in the owner's manual. The only thing this does is drain this portion here, I believe. Um, 
might make things a little bit easier, a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner whenever you pop this cover off. So um, you'll need at least two, possibly three of these cr crush washers. The Suzuki part number for your filter is 16510-295F00. Um, so yeah, you all you have to do, wow. All you have to do is loosen this guy, drain oil from here, drain oil from there, and um, then you remove this cover, swap the filters out, make sure your spring and your O-rings are all in place, put this cover back on, torque, properly torque your drain bolts on your new crush washers, and then top off your system with 1.9 US quarts. If you are not replacing the filter, which um, you, I think you are supposed to do it every other oil change, but you're supposed to do it on the first oil change, um, it's 1.8 um, US quarts if you're not replacing the filter, which, you know, uh, whatever. Put 1.9 in, it's gonna be fine. Actually put two in, it's gonna be fine. All right, that's the short and sweet of it. Just remember, your torque values, 13 foot-pounds in the frame bolt, and then in the uh, oil drain plug in the bottom of the engine is 15 foot-pounds like we discussed earlier, and that's gonna pretty well do it. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Like I said, check out uh, either Gladius John or Stuff and Things. Stuff and Things does a great video. I would look at his first. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.